Hi everyone, this is Nancy. Today is May 1st, 2021. Happy Labor Day! Have you ever had dreams that were vivid and you felt so real, especially in the early morning? Today, I'd like to share with you some of my space crossing dreams. There are many dreams. Often dreams reflect what is in our mind. Most times, they are not real, like bubbles. However, sometimes the dead might try to connect you through dreams. The higher invisible beings may try to distract you through dreams. Dreams may tell you what is going to happen. You may go to other places in dreams. Often dreams are the place where you get further deeply tested. Of course, there are many other kinds of dreams. The above five kinds are the ones that often happen to me. I had many interesting dreams and have forgotten most of them. However, there are still some in memory, and though they happened maybe quite a long time ago. Several years ago, a friend was planning to come to US to study. One day in a dream, a university name that I had never heard about showed up. After I woke up, I checked out the university and told a friend that that university was for him. So he applied, got accepted, and came to US. This year, he already started working here. In 2014, I had a trip to Russia and Inner Mongolia. Before the trip, even before I realized I was going on the trip, I had a dream. In the dream, there were many people having dinner together. I was one of them. That was exactly what happened during the trip. It was one scene in Inner Mongolia. The dream also clearly showed where I would sit. After the dream, I applied to join the trip. Recently, my brother and one uncle came to my dream. After about a couple of days, my brother called me and told me my sister-in-law's uncle was dying and he asked me what sutra to recite to help. I told him they had been here. It's just that in the dream, it wasn't clear which uncle it was. My mother one time showed up in my dream. She looked not well. I called my brother and asked him how our mother was doing. He told me our mother was well. There was no problem. After just about one to two days, he called me and said there was some problem found during our mother's annual physical exam and she had to stay in the hospital for a few days. My grandfather showed up in my dream only once. That was when I was still in the university studying. It was the fall of 1996. I remembered that dream and didn't say anything. After that semester, that winter, I went back to my hometown. Before I arrived at my home, I stopped by my uncle's home first, which was not far from my home, only about 10 miles. And there, somebody called and told us that my grandfather just passed away. He was diagnosed as having lung cancer that fall. Nobody told me about that. Everything happened quickly. He spent that time peacefully to the end. He didn't suffer much. That was the only time my grandfather showed up in my dream. However, my grandmother was different. She was another case. Not long after my grandfather passed away, she had a stroke. She couldn't walk. She stayed her last years in bed and couldn't recognize many people, including my mother. After she died, she showed up in my dreams many times, especially when I slept off in cultivation. At first, she looked not good. She was in a terrible situation. It was a dark place. Then gradually, she became better. I have been on the pilgrimage trip to India four times. Each time, there were many things happening in the invisible world. I may see something, I may feel something, I may hear something. For example, one time, 
I flew to Kunming first and then to India. That time, my brother and my parents also flew to Kunming to see me because I didn't have time to go back to hometown to visit them. That time, not only them coming to see me, there were relatives in the individual world coming with them too. They showed up in my morning dreams talking. When I was a child teenager, there were times I visited weird places in dreams. Those dreams often happened when I felt very good in a certain spiritual state. In dreams, I may fly just above the ground. There was one time I went about somewhere people had wings and they told me to come back. Recent years, little things would come to my dreams when they were hurt. For example, when I move in the lawn, I may accidentally destroy the ant's home, then they may come to my dreams. Or rabbits or rats that were hurt by the family, they also came to my dreams. You see, all such beings are connected. It's just people chose to disconnect them, to ignore them. Sometimes there are words or things showing up in the dream to tell something. There are many dreams like this. For example, in a recent dream, there were four words showing up saying, respect the great sages. Of course, they were shown in my original language which was to tell me to be humble and respectful. Dreams are often the place where we get further deeply tested. In cultivation, there are many barriers to overcome. For example, the barrier of fame, the barrier of wealth, the barrier of ego, the barrier of the sexual desire, the barrier of the desire for meat, the barrier of the habit of stealing, and so on. During the daytime, we might be able to control these desires with our mind. However, that's not enough. If one can pass all the tests in dreams, that will be another level, which is much more difficult. Often, one habit is tested many times. Cultivation is accompanied with tests like this until one day you become a Buddha. Why would these things show up in dreams, you may ask? Actually, these things showed up not only in dreams, but anytime during the daytime too. It's just that during the daytime, our mind is occupied with the world we see and hear. So we couldn't perceive the invisible world only in dreams where our mind is turned off or less active could we see, perceive the invisible world. That's why the Buddha told us to turn off our six sense organs, the eyes, the ears, the nose, the tongue, the body, and the mind, so we could perceive a bigger world, more reality. Thank you everyone for being here watching this video. I hope my dreams are inspiring to you. Consider subscribing the channel for weekly talks. I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.